everyone! Welcome again to another Make It With Me Monday session. I hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, turns out we're not quite done with uh, wintry stuff, it appears. There were some little flakes floating around this weekend, but hopefully we are almost over all through with that kind of stuff. It'll be nice to get back to some actual spring-like weather soon. Um, all right, as I've been mentioning a couple times now, we're coming to the end of the annual catalog season. If you go to my Facebook page, right at the top is pinned a post about how to link to the retirement list. So make sure you're checking that. Um, it's while supplies last, essentially. So if there's something that you definitely don't want to live without that's going to be leaving the annual catalog, make sure you snag that before they're gone. Um, like I said, you just link, uh, click, click that link and it'll take you right to the current list. Um, I'll point out some items are actually on a discount as well. So that's always kind of fun to be able to not only get something that you want, but to get it at a discount. So again, check those sales. All right, I'm going to show you a little bit of the suite I'm going to be working with tonight for my on-camera sample. I have the Sweet as a Peach bundle. So there's a set of dies and a stamp set. And just about everything you see here has a coordinating die to cut out. And then there's this little banner that fits some of these little tiny phrases. Um, so super duper cute. Some extra leaves for adding on to some of the things you're already doing. Hi there, Kathy. Good to see you tonight. And my favorite part of this collection is the designer series paper. It is, of course, on the retirement list because we very, very, very rarely carry one over catalog to catalog. Uh, but take a look at some of these. These are so pretty. You've got your peachy colors with a little bit of balmy blue and some pear. Um, it also kind of matches into like the olive and the, um, oh, maybe like the mossy too. This is one of my favorites. Just those little teeny tiny peaches. So, so cute. Uh, here's another set. This is actually one of them that is on sale. So if you actually love this designer series paper, snag some up at a discount. Gotta love it. And lastly, you've got some that have a little bit more featuring of the blue. It's that balmy blue color. And then this is Calypso Coral. Um, got really great, great colors throughout there. And it makes me think of the warm weather to come, we hope. <laughs> All right, let's get started tonight. Here is what you needed to have on hand for Make It With Me Monday tonight. Um, you're gonna use a neutral card base. Um, I'm using the thick white. Um, if you're going to make a card with a neutral base, I really do recommend our thick card stacks. Right, Kathy? Love that DSP. I'm gonna have to grab some more before it goes. We have thick white and thick vanilla, um, just about the same weight as our regular cardstock makes for a much better base for a card if you're doing that in a neutral color. Then you have a regular square, I'm just using our basic white here, uh, actually it's more of a rectangle, two by two and a quarter. And then I said grab some kind of label or tag or just a piece of uh, something that you can put your phrase on. I did, I punched mine out with Label Me Fancy Punch. So you want it to be about one and a half by two and a quarter, not too much bigger than that and you'll kind of see as we go what's gonna work for what you've got. So that is my neutrals. And then I said a piece of cardstock that's four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna be using Balmy Blue. Um, same color cardstock, two and an eighth by two and three eighths. Then one designer series paper that is, um, what's the word? There we go, one and a half by five and a half. I'm realizing I dropped my other piece of designer series paper somewhere. And I just need to figure out where that might have went. Okay, that's goofy. So then you want a second piece. <laughs> you have to start hunting around uh, for mine and figure out where I put it. Um, you either want another sheet of designer series paper or you want a piece of cardstock, a second color, that's gonna be two and a half by two and three quarter. Okay, so talk amongst yourselves and I need to figure out what happened to my other piece of designer series paper when I carried it over here. It must have fallen down. Okay, well, I might have to just recut that. So again, talk amongst yourselves for a minute while I get that set up. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay, I'm gonna just grab a piece of cardstock from over here. All right, tell me about your weekend, everyone. How did we do this weekend? Did we have fun? Did we go somewhere? What was going on in your world this weekend? Tell me all about it, Flower. Hanging out here waiting for me to find where it fell down. Now you'd think my studio would not be this big. <laughs> that I can't find that silly piece of these feet. Alright, I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna take a color, a piece of colored cardstock instead, and I'm gonna do two and a half by two and three quarter of Calypso Coral. 
So two and a half and two and three quarter. Boop. All right. I cannot figure out where that went. That's just crazy. Must have fallen out of my hand somewhere. It'll show up. Probably stuck to the bottom of my foot or something. <laughs> All right, everybody. Now that I have the cardstock I need, let's go ahead and get started. As always, take your card base and give it a really nice score with your bone folder. So that's nice and creased. Our card tonight is going to open horizontally or landscape, I guess I should say. Okay, you're going to take that neutral square. That's again, not quite a square, I guess. Neutral piece, that's two by two and a quarter. This is where we're going to stamp our focal point on. So I'm going to take pieces from that Sweet as a Peach, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp my peach in Calypso Coral. This designer, this, uh, I should say, this uh, stamp set is one of those um, where they've added some of the light and shade into it. So when you're going to go ahead and put that down, you're going to see that it's not a full solid image. It's got some really neat depth already built into it. So it gives it a little more natural look. I uh, kind of love when they do that to some of our stamps. It like, turns out so neat. All right, and then I'm going to add some leaves of pear pizzazz. And I'm taking these colors just directly from the designer series paper. On the back and in the catalog, it always tells you what's in there. So you know what color palette to use and, um, and that sort of thing. It really helps you out when you're going to be designing your projects. You can take the colors right out of your designer series paper and it does all the work for you. All right, so there is my focal image. I'm going to do a peach. And to go along with that, I'm going to use the phrase that says, have a peachy day. Now, because I can, this is photopolymer and I can see through it, I did go ahead and punch this first. If you have um, red rubber ones, I kind of recommend actually stamping first and then trying to send it through the punch. You'll be able to line it up better and make sure that you have a perfect, uh, per have it perfectly centered or whatever it is that you want to be doing with it. So that's one benefit to the photopolymers. You can see right through them and you have a much, you have perfect placement practically every time. Okay, let's go ahead and take those other two squares, uh, the cardstock and then either the other, the second cardstock or the second designer series paper, whichever you cut. And you can see these are gonna go layered together. So you're gonna take your focal image and put it on that first piece of cardstock that matches your card, your bigger card piece. That was the four by five and a quarter. So again, mine's balmy blue. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my second piece. And again, this is either another piece of cardstock or it's another piece of designer series paper, whatever you chose. Okay. All right, we're gonna set that aside for a second. This is gonna go layered right onto your card base. So let's get a little adhesive on that as well. card base there we go all right so you have your four by five and a quarter piece layered onto your card base now grab that one and a half inch strip that's five and a half long we're going to be using that horizontally and you're going to aim it more towards the bottom so maybe this is like the halfway point if that makes sense so you want to have a little space here a little more space up there all right straight excuse me if my head gets in the way since I can't stamp or I'm not directly over it sometimes I got to double check <laughs> all right and here you need to decide um, a little bit of where you want these pieces to go and what you might want to have uh, popped up so the basic layout that I had borrowed this from I'll show you the inspiration piece when I'm done has the image over here and the little phrase down here okay you can again switch that up you can make this straight not not on an angle so we could have it straight to the corner, straight over here. You could put the label in the middle there. You could switch it around and have one go down, one go up. All kinds of options. Hey, Kathy Joe, good to see you tonight. All kinds of options with this layout. So like I said, we could do uh, down here and up here. You could have it coming off of there like so. So play with this and see what kind of layout you like. Um, I'm going to go, let's see, what do I want to do tonight? I think I might go to the right with this one. And you'll see on my other samples, they're, much, they're a little bit more like the original inspiration piece that I got. It's one of the things I love about swapping card samples with other demonstrators. Um, I'm in a couple different swaps each month with different demonstrators, 
and uh, just love getting the variety of things and a lot of them I just save for uh, layouts and the color combinations. Hi Mary Lynn, good to see you tonight. Um, all those wonderful ideas, just so great. All right, I'm gonna pop up my phrase, I think, and because I'm almost out of these little guys. I hope you guys do this too, that when you run out of dimensionals, you go ahead and snip off all of those little extra pieces on the outside. Don't let those go to waste. Those are still perfectly good and usable as a dimensional piece. So never waste any of those edges. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go ahead and put mine up in the corner here, kind of break up that square area like so. All right, there you go. So like I said, I kind of like the elements of this that you can be so versatile with where you place it, how it looks, all that wonderful stuff. All right, while well, you guys are catching up, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the other samples I did. All right, and so just to review, this was the Sweet as a Peach Bundle, this You're a Peach Designer Series paper, the Label Me Fancy Punch, um, all of the, see the, um, the You're a Peach D DSP is on sale. Um, and then the uh, peach bundle itself is also retiring. So if you guys really, really like those, uh, put them on your wish list right away and get them ordered. Everything right now is pretty much while supplies last if it's retiring from the annual catalog. All right, here's what I did for a challenge offered up by a person, uh, a tic-tac-toe challenge actually. So there's a grid, tic-tac-toe grid, you know, the, the three by three squares. And in each square is a certain element. Um, and you have to go, you know, make a tic-tac-toe pattern with whatever project you're using. So this one required me to use vellum, no stamping, and a, a colors from the Subtles collection. So my vellum is actually right here, and I ran it through the um, the splatters embossing folder. It comes with there's two that come together, uh, the stripes and the splatters. So I use the splatters on the vellum, and when you emboss vellum, the white kind of pops out of it so you can it's hard to see on camera you'll be able to see it a little bit better with the photograph after I post it but it's a really really cool effect and then I did the same um, embossing folder on that heart and then this instead of stamping I, I die cut a word using the love you more than dies and then this is hand penned DSP also of course retiring and the heart punch pack comes with this heart and one that's scalloped uh, I think that goes, that's everything. And then the, the Settles colors were, of course, Soft Sea Foam and Highland Heather. So that called, counted from the, um, the Settles collection. <laughs> All right, another way to change up a layout would be to ch flip it from horizontal to vertical. So here's one option doing that. I also switched it up and I used Very Vanilla. So I have a thick Very Vanilla card base and then Very Vanilla for my two neutral patterns here. I've got Early Evergreen, or Evening Evergreen, and then the Bloom Where You're Planted Designer Series paper, um, which is also retiring. Uh, this is the Perfect Plants set it's on, in the annual catalog. And I also used some in-color jewels uh, to finish that up. And then this is the Rectangle Postage pun postage Stamp Punch. That's a lot of words. <laughs> um, I also then took one of the, I took that stamp image and I put it all over the background of my base layer just to give it a little bit of something. Okay, so there's a little bit of difference there, um, whereas you see like with this one, it was it was just a plain background. This one I did tone on tone stamping just to give it a little bit of interest um, on that piece right there. And again, this potted, this um, Perfect Plants is another one of those where they add some of that nice shading and dimension already right into the stamp. So when you stamp it, you get that perfect shade of light to dark and all that kind of wonderful stuff that you see. All right, and then I'm gonna take these away for a second and I'll show you the stepped up version of this. So remember, this is the one we just made on camera. And here's my stepped up version. Um, I switched up a few things. What I did for the, um, the basic pat, blah, <laughs> the base of the four by five and a quarter piece, I embossed it with the bark embossing folder, which unfortunately is retiring. I love this one and I'm gonna miss it so much. It's one of my go-tos for just adding a little bit of texture to a project. I just love that one. I'm a little sad to see it go. I switched up the stamp set I used, or the stamp I used. Instead of just the single peach, I used the little bundle of peaches. And these three fit into those spots on the leaf. So they're designed to fit together. So you can see my leaves. And then I did raise those up a little bit. So they have a little bit of dimension. And I added Wink of Stella to those. And then also the peaches on the designer series paper. I don't know if I can catch the light just right to see them glimmer. Oh, oh, there we go. There it is. So you see a little bit of the glimmer on the peaches themselves, the little ones, and then I added it to the designer series paper as well. Same punch, just a different phrase. 
And this is designer series paper instead of the solid color I use. It's the flip side of the one I used over there. So it's got those blue dots on the back. So I just use both sides of the same one. All right, so there's a stepped up version of the one I did on camera. And I'll show you the inspiration piece I received. This is a swap from fellow demonstrator Julie Barkley. She's using, for these are from the um, mini catalog, the January to June mini catalog. There's a set called Brave Vikings. So she put one of the stamps on her background. She's got this little Viking gal as her focal point. And the phrase right here, I believe, she used the smooth sailing dies, which are um, being retired. The In Good Taste Designer Series paper, which is being retired, but it's on sale. And that is a really cool one to pick up. It's all um, wood tones on one side, and then the other side looks like um, carpet and tile and um, other really cool textured things and it's it's, it's um, what they call photorealistic it's so 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 cool and I really recommend snagging one of those it's a larger size pack uh, you get a little more sheets more sheets of DSP in there and then it's on sale so it really kind of is a win-win can't can't go wrong with that one um, so again thank you to Julie for that there so there's my inspiration piece here's the two we did on camera tonight and that sample and then like I said play with that layout you've got basically kind of like one big rectangle and a label and go ahead and change up where you put them um, every time I rolled that guy around it was a different kind of a look so you can like I said angle them keep them square you can go either corner any of the corners for the image itself and then change it up with the phrases this one was a really fun one to play with and I hope you guys thought the same I will have the video uploaded in just a little bit along with the pictures of the samples so if you have stamped along with me go ahead and add those into that post and if you're watching this later once you're done and you've used this layout uh, show me what you made go ahead and post it to that link and I would like to see what you guys have done with this layout all right everybody thank you for joining me again for make it with me Monday and I look forward to seeing y'all next week all right have a good night